so in India, the governments have responded really positively and banned diclofenac along with the other South Asian countries really quite quickly back in 2006. And the problem and the havoc that diclofenac caused with South Asian vulture populations, more than 99% declines, is clear and diclofenac has been the main problem there and the banning of veterinary formulations has gone a long way to stabilizing the populations. So when we discovered that in Europe diclofenac had recently been licensed for veterinary use, uh, it was, I was horrified to be honest and embarrassed too that uh, when it's so clear the effect the devastating effect that diclofenac has on vultures um, in all parts of the world, um, that something like this could happen. And reversing that uh, licensing doesn't seem to be as straightforward as you would imagine. So hopefully that can happen as quickly as possible. Yes, and uh, bando diclofenac is a problem for farmers? It is it a problem for farmers? It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you have a yes. ban, but uh, it's yes. a problem or not? We well, have uh, other solutions. So one of the reasons we were able to uh, get government support for the ban in South Asian countries was, thank goodness, there's a good drug which um, can be used. Meloxicam we know is safe. We're sure there are other drugs are likely to be safe too and safety testing needs to be done and uh, veterinarians, most veterinarians are very happy with meloxicam as an alternative to diclofenac and yes of course they would like more choice in the drugs they would they use but it's not it's not really necessary to have, to have diclofenac so it's it, it doesn't make any sense having uh, suddenly licensing it uh, in, in Europe now. It's, um, yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a disaster actually. Thank you very much.